we're going to go looking for something. And each of you will have your own landscape in which to look. Each of you will look in a place that makes sense to you. I told you a story that took place somewhere around Barstow, California. Somewhere out near Needles, California. But your story will take place in, in wherever makes sense for you. So where will you go? Well, wherever it is, I just invite you to find yourself there. And wherever you, you'll go. And to be open to the spirit behind your illness stopping in. And you remember the spirit behind the joint and the muscle problems in the story where the, the keepers of the four directions and the, the spirit behind the back pain and the burning was the sun and the spirit behind. The wounds were the people themselves, the people spirits. And finally, this, the, the spirit behind death was the, that particular being. They call him the angel of death or the spirit of death or the, the boatman who takes you to the other side. Across the River Jordan, you know that song. And so, let's be open to whatever spirit appears, whatever form or shape that, that being takes. Because you want to you be able to make a mask to represent that being. You want to be able to make a mask. And so, I just invite you to see clearly now with your mind's eye what that spirit looks like, how it wants to present itself today. You can, you can notice, perhaps, if it's day or, or night, if you're inside or outside. Look down at, at the ground or the floor. Be aware of what you're standing on. Look at your feet, what you're wearing. Scan upwards. What, what's, what's covering your body all the way up to your head? Maybe you have a hat on. Look around you. Are there critters in the neighborhood? Are there trees, rocks, other funny looking beings, bears, deer? What is, what is there? Water, lakes, birds, books, walls, paintings, suits of armor, swords? What is there? Let that, let that spirit appear. Let that spirit come. And go ahead and talk to it, if you will. Go ahead and, and ask it, hey, who are you anyway? Where'd you come from? What's your name? What do you call yourself? How, why are you here? What brought you? How come you picked me? What was so attractive about me that, that brought you here? Did you come to help, or are you mean? Did you come to hurt me? Did some of my enemies send you? Are you a curse, or did my rel well-meaning relatives send you to, to make me better in some way? Did I invite you in to solve a problem? How'd you get here? Maybe I was born with you. Maybe you've been in my family for years. Maybe you're somebody else's problem that I just accidentally picked up walking down the street. Maybe, you didn't, maybe it was an accident that you were involved with me. Maybe you got lost, you didn't have GPS, and you, you were coming from my neighbor and you got me instead. That could happen. So what's, what's up? Tell me. Talk to me, spirit. Tell me what's up. And in a little bit, maybe you'll begin some negotiations about change. How can things change? How will things change? What do I have to do for things to change? What do I have to do to make things better? 
for both of us? How can we help each other? What's your intent and how could I help you? How could you help me? How could we win-win? How could things get a little bit easier for both of us to get what we want? You can have that conversation in a little bit. Once you get all the story that you need. Because that's the spirit has a different story from you. Maybe it came from a different place. The middle of the earth, the Pleiades, North Pole, you never know. Directly from the Creator. Directly from your ancestors. Who knows? So take your time and find out. And just, just for fun, while you're doing this, I want to propose another, another exercise. Just for fun. What if, what, if there's, what if there's a choice? What if there's a choice here about what's going to happen next? And what if you're of two minds? One of you would like to go one way and the other one would like to go the other way. And what if we had, we, if each of you had a chief to propose a contest? And you can pick, pick sides, you know, imagine your, your minds are full of characters anyway. There's all kinds of characters in your mind. You know, you've got your internalized relatives and you've got your internalized everything in the world that ever happened and everyone you ever met somewhere is hiding in your mind. So you've got a lot of characters in there. So what if you were to pick some teams? Just like in the story I told you, what if you were to pick some teams? And you could have a little contest to see what, to see what decision gets made. And the chief, your chief, the chief of all, the chief of you, the chief of your body, could pick some, some events for this little contest. This is appropriate because the Olympic Games are coming soon. And you could imagine your own little mini Olympics in your inner world. You know, you could, you could have all kinds of crazy contests, you know. You know, you could have an archery contest, or you could, you could do anything you wished. Throw the javelin. I tried to throw the javelin in high school. I wasn't very good at it, though, but it was fun. You could, you could run the 440. You could do all kinds of stuff. So I'm just inviting you to let your chief give you three events. And go at it. Have at it. Have, have a little mini Olympics and see who wins. Who gets to make the decision? And what's the decision going to be? Won't that be fun? I'll just give you a little bit of, of, of silence to have a, have a contest. And maybe like in the story, you'll end up with a unanimous decision. You never know, it could happen. You can make a unanimous decision for what's going to happen next. I'll give you a couple minutes to just enjoy yourselves. All right, and... I just want to wrap up with, with one last request, and that is that, that you ask that, that spirit that's been helping you, that's been talking to you, that's been guiding you, that you ask it for one idea to contribute to our ceremony, that you ask it to give you one idea of something that you could contribute to the afternoon. And when you've got that idea, when you've got that idea, well, go ahead and, and come back at your own speed and in your own timing. Remember what you need to remember to make a mask and keep hold of your idea. And anything else you want to remember is fine and anything you want to forget is fine too. So, y'all come back now. Here comes the cat.